Okay, uh, welcome back. Um, it's been a while. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to create this uh, rising bubbles effect using metaballs. And in part two, we're going to give this uh, reflective uh, liquid metal effect. So I'm just going to start with a fresh scene as usual. I'm just going to delete all this. The first step is to create an emitter. So I'm just going to go to simulate um, particles emitter. And if we just play this animation back, the particles are moving along the Z axis plus C. So I'm just going to rotate this 90 degrees. So I'm just going to play this back now and the particles should be um, rising upwards. By the way, when you're rotating, if you hold down shift, that snaps to 10 degree increments, which can be quite handy. So I'm just going to click on the emitter object and I'm just going to change birth rate to 3 for the editor and the renderer. Uh, stop emission, I'm just going to make this 300 frames and down here my animation, I'm going to set it to 300 frames. Just increase this animation. Uh, emitter, on this tab I'm going to make the X and Y size uh, bigger, I'm going to make it 500. So this surface area here uh, is much bigger. So if we just play this back, uh, we get this effect. So next I'm going to create a MoGraph cloner and a sphere. I'm going to make the sphere a child of the cloner. And I'm going to set the sphere to hexahedron, which basically means it's using four-sided polys, makes the geometry nice and neat. I'm going to make the segments uh, 16, just reduce the segments. Uh, I'm just going to reduce the radius slightly. Uh, next, I'm going to click on the cloner, put the mode into object mode. Now I'm going to drag and drop this emitter into this object slot. And now the cloners are attached to the emitter particles. So I'm just going to move this down here, play this animation back. And we can see these um, spheres rising up. Pretty cool. Uh, next, I'm going to add some turbulence. So I'm just going to go to simulate particles, turbulence. Play this back and you should see them kind of jittering slightly now. I'm just going to increase the speed of the emitter. I'm just going to click on emitter particle speed. I'm going to make it 200 centimeters, just a bit quicker. Okay, might increase the turbulence to 15 centimeters. Now you can see them kind of moving slightly. Okay, the next step is to create a meta balls uh, object. I'm going to click on this array icon here and go to meta ball. And I'm going to simply drag and drop the cloner underneath this. So we have this structure. So I'm going to click on meta ball. Uh, and I'm just going to reduce the editor subdivision. So it actually gets more detailed when you do that. And I'm just going to play with the whole value till they start sticking together. I might check exponential. And um, I'm just going to make these radiuses a bit smaller. Maybe turn off exponential. It can be quite tricky. So maybe about here, and I'm just going to zoom out a bit. Uh, as you can see, the computer's uh, the fans spinning. It's because it's quite processor intensive. So I'm just going to play this animation back. And as you can see, the balls are kind of sticking together and uh, interacting with each other. So um, you might want to increase the number of uh, particles being generated make it a lot more complicated, but uh, I'm just going to leave it here for now because that's just the basic principle and I'll let you play around with the uh, settings. Uh, if you really want, you can click on the cloner and give it a random effector. Uh, click on parameter, uncheck position, click on scale and choose uniform scale and then give it a 0.4 maybe. That basically gives them uh, different sizes. The spheres have random sizes. So that's the end of part one. In part two, we're going to apply a cool liquid metal effect, a reflective uh, liquid metal effect. And uh, if you found this useful, please share it. And thanks for watching.